Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise, mighty God. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Halle, halle, halle. Hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, halle, halle. Hallelujah, 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 amen, <clears throat> hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, 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 amen. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in our midst. Lord Jesus, I know you are here. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. Abba, Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise, Jesus. We worship you because you alone are worthy to be praised. You alone are worthy to be adored. There is none like you. In all the earth, there is none like you. Lakena Masiana Mashaya. You are the father of creation, the monarch of the universe, the great I am that I am. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the lion and yet you are the lamb. You are the lily of the valley, the bride and the morning star. Who can compare unto you, O God? You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises. You keep doing wonders in our midst every day. We bless your name, Jesus. For you are holy and forever you are God. You are holy and forever you are God. There is none like you. There is none that can be compared to you. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You never change. You remain the same. The same God. The same God. Yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, Jesus, we bless your name. We adore you, oh God. We reference you because you deserve it. You deserve our glory. You deserve our praise. You deserve the lifting up of our hands. I am a Masia da Bahaya. When others are saying there is a casting down, we are going to say there is a lifting up because you are the one who lifts up our heads. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. And thousands, my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. 
and thousands as you join the live broadcast please just go ahead and join me in worshiping god join me in hallowing the name of the lord join me in exalting the name of god he deserves our worship he deserves our praise my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands Yeshua Yeshua, ah, ah, please give me a minute. I went to get some water. I was choking. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone joining. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. God bless you. You are welcome to this moment in the presence of the Lord. <coughs> Father, we thank you for your presence in this live session. We thank you, Lord, for what you are able, what you are going to be doing here. Lord, I submit myself to you. I am only a vessel in your hands. Use me to minister to your people in a special way in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone that is coming to this live session with a specific prayer request. I pray that, God, you will meet them at their point of need, whatever they are trusting you for. By the release of your anointing in this live session, I pray let yokes be broken. Let captives be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God. One more time, I want to welcome you all. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining. Please check to see if you are already subscribed to this channel. If not, kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live, you are going to receive a notification. If you have not given the video a thumbs up, please touch the like button. Give the video a thumbs up. God bless you as you do that. If you have not shared the live broadcast, this is a great time to go ahead and share. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Holy Spirit divine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is a sign that something great is about to happen. It is a sign that something great is about to happen. Just like yesterday, today, I told myself I was not going to come live at this time. I told myself I will not be live at this time because, um, you know, I'm having a personal time. But God um, kept on imprinting this word in my spirit. Get, God kept on ministering to me. And I knew it's not just a word for me because I am conscious of the fact that I have people here who rely upon me to hear the voice of God, to hear the mind of God. There are people here who rely upon me to hear what God is saying so I could not hold this word to myself. I had to come here and share the word with you so that you know what is happening, what is happening, what God is about to do or what God is doing. God says, when you see this, you should know it is a sign that something great is about to happen. Something exceptional, something adorable is about to happen. And the devil is trying to distract you to remove your eyes from that and focus on something else. God says that you have to 
you have to be aware of this because the devil wants to distract you and turn your focus to something which is not real. This is a sign that something is about to happen. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will not miss out. This is a season for you. You are in a season of, of your next level. You are in a season of a change. You are in a season where God wants to do great and mighty things. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will not miss your season. You will not miss your time. You will not be diverted. The devil will not divert your attention to something else. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. This season of your life will not pass you by. This season of your life will not pass you by. Whatsoever God has in store for you, I pray that it is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming to you. You will not miss it. You will not miss that thing God has spoken. You will not miss the season God has shadowed for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some time ago, I gave a prophetic word. And I said, the devil heard it too. The devil heard, the devil heard it too. Whenever you are given a prophecy, for example, I might call your name right now. And I tell you, you are in a season for establishment. God wants to establish you. God wants to give you a home. God wants to bless you with a beautiful home. You are not the only one who heard it when I said it. The devil heard it too. The devil equally heard the word that was released. The devil is not all-knowing, but the devil picks signals in the air. The devil might feel like this is a season. This is There is something that is about to happen. And because the devil does not know exactly what it is, he doubles. He, just, he tries his luck to be able to, uh, you know, place his finger on what is happening. But then, when a prophetic word is released... You are not the only one that hears it. The devil hears it too. And the devil's aim is to ensure that word does not manifest. The aim of the devil is to ensure that word does not manifest. It does not come to pass. And so he begins to orchestrate situations and circumstances that will make you doubt the word of God you have received. That will make you doubt the season in your life you are in. You might be in a strategic season where you are being in a, you might be in a strategic season which is a transition into your next level. You can feel it and the devil knows it. So he shows up to make you doubt that season of your life. He shows up to make you doubt that season. You might have been sick and you receive a prophetic word telling you that God is healing you of that sickness. God is healing you of that disease. And immediately the prophetic word is released, the sickness, you be, it becomes worse. It becomes worse. I mean, the manifestations of the symptoms becomes worse. Why? The devil is trying to divert your attention. The devil is trying to make you doubt the word you have received. The devil is trying to make you doubt it. It is no doubt the season where God is healing you. It is no doubt a season where God is bringing your deliverance. But the devil makes it more difficult for you. So you should doubt the word of God that has been released. But the question I'm going to ask you is, whose report will you believe? Whose report are you going to believe? Would you believe what the, the, the evidence the devil is showing you or you're going to believe the report God has given you? God says you are healed, but you are instead feeling sick and sick. And as a matter of fact, the symptoms have become worse. Who are you going to believe? Would you believe what the devil is showing you? Or you're going to believe the word of God that has been released. Ah, the Bible says such are the words that leave my mouth. They will not return to me void without accomplishing the purpose for which it was sent. But the problem is, are you going to believe in that word of God? Will you hold the word God has given you and run with it? Or you're going to focus on the evidence the devil is trying to show you? Are you going to focus on the, de the evidence the devil is trying to show you? Or you will believe God? The Bible says Abraham hoped against hope. 
He hoped against hope that what God said was going to come to pass. Even though he was not able to see it, he hoped against all hope. And God is sending me to tell someone the devil's aim in your life. You are in a transition period. You are transitioning from one level to another. But the devil has brought in circumstances that will make you doubt. The devil is orchestrating circumstances that will make you doubt if at all that was the word of the Lord you heard. If at all God is faithful enough to do what he says he will do. Oh yes, but God is faithful. God is faithful. The Bible says God is faithful to whom we are called to the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ. He is faithful and he is able to do what he says he will do. Whatsoever you are seeing is just a camouflage. Whatsoever the devil is projecting to you is just a camouflage. It is not real. It is not real. It is not real. Whatsoever the devil is projecting to you is a camouflage. It is not real. It is not real. The only real thing that has the ability to manifest itself is the word of God. It is the word of God. Whatsoever the devil is showing you that is contrary to the word of God is not real. It is a camouflage. It is a camouflage. If only you can look beyond. If only you can see beyond that which the devil is showing you. You'll be able to enter into that transitionary. You'll be able to enter into that next level. It was time for the children of Israel to be delivered. They had stayed in captivity for so long and it was time for their deliverance. And God sent a deliverer to them, Moses. And Moses came and told them, God has sent me. And he says, this is the season where you are going to be transitioned. You are going to move to your land flowing with milk and honey. This is the season God is taking you away out of captivity. And he is taking you into your promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And when Moses went to Pharaoh and told him, God has sent me to come take my people out of Egypt. God has sent me to you and to tell you to let my people go. The first time a, a, a Pharaoh received Moses and Aaron and heard of their mission, he got so angry. And what he said to, to the tax masters was double the task of the Israelites. Double the, the task of the Jews. And show that their work become more difficult. And so that it becomes more, as a matter of fact, they were giving, before then they were giving tools to work. But at this point he said, double their task and do not give them any tool. And they are, they are required to do exactly, they are required to, 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 um, um, to fulfill that task within a specific time. Their task was doubled, their tools were taken away. It means they are, they, they, they are Pain was increased. Their labors was increased. Their pain was increased. And I can imagine them saying, truly, really, is this really the season of our deliverance? Is this really the season of our deliverance? Why has our life instead become more and more difficult? Why have things become more and more difficult? Pharaoh represents Satan, Pharaoh represents the God of this world. A word was sent forth. This is the season of your deliverance. And Pharaoh doubles your task and makes it more difficult for you as to show you that I have authority over you. Whatsoever God said, it's not going to happen. I am the one in charge. I am the one in authority. I am the one in command. That is the message the devil is trying to drive across to you. Telling you what God said is never going to happen. I am the one in charge. By making your life the more difficult. By making things. God told you this year is the year you are going to get married. God said this year is the year you are going to get married. And maybe before the word of the Lord came, you were in a relationship and the relationship was working so well, you could even see that truly there is a possibility of me getting married this year. But the word came and all of a sudden the relationship you were even having broke. Your partner said, I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. Or you got to a point in the relationship where you felt like I can't do this. You are the one who even quit the relationship like I'm going to die. 
But that was someone you saw as someone you could spend the rest of your life with. That was someone that told you they wanted to spend the rest of their lives with you. But because the word came and the devil wants to come and destabilize you and make you doubt that word. And so he presents to you an evidence telling you it is not easy. It is not going to happen. The attack is increased on your marital destiny. The attack is increased. But whose report are you going to believe? Whose report will you believe? Will you believe what the devil is showing you? Are you going to hold on to the word of God that he gave? Are you going to hold on to the word of God against all odds? And say, Lord, you said it and I believe it. It doesn't matter what the devil is trying to project to me. It doesn't matter what the devil is trying to show me. I do not believe that. In Akaya Baba Bashayana Mahanda. The, yes, the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. Each time you try to concentrate on what you are seeing, what the devil is showing you, you are going to miss out on the promise of God and on the blessing of God. You are going to miss out on that transition. You are going to miss out. Whenever you receive a prophetic word, about something and you start seeing something contrary happening you should rejoice you should be happy because indeed it is about to happen god is about to do it yes the bible says the devil is the god of this world but over two thousand years ago jesus came down as a man and defeated the devil the bible says he went down to hell and set captive captives free he bruised the head of the serpent and he took back the key of life that was held by the devil god has dominion over all the powers of satan god has dominion over all the powers of satan ah uh, who, who is this prophet who said once ha once have i spoken twice have i heard once has he spoken and twice have i heard that all power belongs to god all power belongs to god all power belongs to god if god says it is going to happen it will surely happen it doesn't matter what the devil is trying to project to you all you have to do is stand firm and see the salvation of god all you have to do is believe in the word it doesn't matter what the devil is showing you you say i refuse to believe what i am seeing and i choose to believe what the lord has said god has said this about me and that is the report i choose to believe hallelujah glory to god it is a sign that your life is about to change it is a sign that what God said will happen is about to happen. If only you can look beyond the attack of the devil. If only you can look beyond the attack and hold on to that promise. I choose to believe you, God. I choose to believe you. I choose to believe that this year is the year I'm going to handle millions. Hmm. You maybe you receive a prophetic word that this year you will be financially stable. And instead, you started getting into debt. You started getting into debt. You started experiencing more and more difficulty financially. <laughs> you should start rejoicing because the devil knows it is happening the devil knows it is happening you should start rejoicing refuse to see what the devil is showing you it is an evidence it is it is it is a sign that what god says is going to happen it is a sign it is a sign that what God says will actually happen. Refuse to see it. And sometimes all you need is the strength to be able to push forward. All you need is the strength to be able to push. You need the strength to be able to go past what the devil is showing you at the moment. You need the strength. I came to pray for someone today. God has given you a word. 
And what you are seeing is the opposite of that word God has given you. A prophetic word has been released upon your life. But what you are instead seeing is the opposite of it. I am here to pray for you in the name of Jesus. God is giving you the strength to go past that negativity and to enter into your promised land in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you the strength. God is giving you the strength to go past those difficulties and those negativities and to enter your promised land in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Receive that divine empowerment, that divine enablement to go past this level and to enter into your land flowing with milk and honey. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank God for the Israelites. At some point, at the beginning, they, 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 they felt discouraged. They felt like the entrance of the prophetic word Moses is brought instead made their life difficult but i thank god because over time they understood over time they when they started seeing the signs and the wonders that god was doing they understood that they were in their period of transition i pray for you in the name of jesus receive divine enablement receive the tenacity to be able to walk through this period of your life into the period where you enter into your land flowing with milk and honey in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I rebuke the hand of the devil over your prophetic word I rebuke the hand of the devil over the prophecy that was released upon your life I rebuke the hand of the devil over your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for you. The same way God delivered the Israelites by a mighty hand from the hand of Pharaoh. I pray that God will deliver you. He will take you forcefully from where you are to where you are meant to be in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that God will take you forcefully where you are to where you are meant to be in the mighty name of Jesus. You are obtaining the promise. You are obtaining the promise. You are obtaining the promise as your faith is stirred up. You are obtaining the promise God has released upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You will live to testify. You will live to enter into that promised land. You will live to testify of the goodness of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that divine enablement to enter into your land flowing with milk and honey. Receive that divine enablement. You will go through this stage. You will not give up. You will not give up. You will not give up. You will go through this stage of your life and you will obtain the promise God had given you in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. You will not give up. You will live to see the promise of God manifest in your life. You will live to see the promise of God manifest. You will live to see the promise of God manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are obtaining the promise. I prophesy upon your life. You are obtaining that promise that has been prophesied upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are obtaining the promise of God that has been prophesied over your life. You are obtaining the promise in the mighty name of Jesus. You are obtaining the promise. 
You are obtaining the promise. You will not give up. No, your story will not be the story of one who gave up. Because after the prophetic word was released, challenges came. No, 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 no. Your own, your own story will be different. Your own story will be different. Your own testimony will be different. Your story will be different. Your testimony will be different. In the mighty name of Jesus, your story will be different. Your testimony will be different. A canato sire. Yes, you will say, I came, I saw, and I conquered. Your testimony will be, I came, I saw, and I conquered. I came, I saw, and I conquered. I obtained the promise. What God spoke over my life, it happened eventually. You will say what the Lord spoke over my life happened eventually. What God spoke of me happened eventually. You will say what God spoke of me happened eventually. As the Lord said it, it happened. Just as the Lord said it, so did it happen over my life. Come on, somebody. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for the word that has been released. Thank the Lord for the word that has been released. Thank the Lord for the word that has been released. Ah, Rake Sataya. Your testimony will be the Lord spoke it and it happened just as He has said it. Mande Kosaya Babashaya. Your testimony will be God said it and it happened just the way he said it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord because you are obtaining promises. You are obtaining promises. As the Lord said it, it will surely come to pass in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Your case will be different. You will obtain the promise. You will not give up. You will not give up. You will not give up. The devil will not win nor succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right now, I'm going to give you an opportunity. If you are led in your spirit, God is leading you. You want to plant a seed connecting to the prophetic prayers, connecting to the prophetic words that have been released. However the case may be, I give you an opportunity right now to do that. If you want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, the information has been pinned on your screen. You can just click on that pinned information and you will have all those um, informations. And if you want to use the, the, the live stream that is Super Chat, Super Sticker, you can go ahead. Whatever means is most um, convenient for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you as you do that. I want to use this opportunity to welcome everyone especially if this is the first time you're joining us a special welcome to you thank you so much for joining please check to see if you are already subscribed to this channel if not kindly go ahead and touch the subscribe button and please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live you are going to receive a notification god bless you as you do that in the name of jesus if you are here you've not given the video a thumbs up please family touch the like button Give the video a thumbs up if you have not done that already. Give the video a thumbs up if you have not done that already. If you were blessed by these prayers, then it will be awesome if you can share. Sharing it means giving um, someone else an opportunity to be blessed by the prayers. When something blesses you, do not be selfish enough to keep it just for yourself. Share it and give someone else an opportunity to get blessed by the word that has blessed you. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. I thank you, Lord, for everyone that has given an offering on PayPal, on Cash App.
I, on super chat, I pray that you bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. May the abundance never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. And for everyone that is planting a seed connecting to a particular prophetic word, I connect you to your seed in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord honor your giving. Those who are planting seeds connecting to, I will obtain the promises and enter the promised land. I connect you to your seed. May God honor your giving. May you obtain promises and enter your promised land in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are planting seed, Connecting to, I will enter my land flowing with milk and honey. I connect you to your seed. May God honor your faith and may you enter into your land flowing with milk and honey. Those who are planting seed, con con connecting to, I rebuke the hand of the devil over my prophecy. I connect you to your seed in the name of Jesus that God will honor your faith and that every prophecy you have received, the hand of the devil is rebuked over it in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are planting seeds connecting to, I will see my prophetic word manifest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I connect you to your seed. You will see your prophetic word manifest in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you are planting seed and you are connecting to, whatsoever you are connecting to, I pray that God will honor your giving. God would honor your giving. Why do we encourage people to plant seeds into prophetic word? You are connecting your faith to the word that has been released. It is a way of connecting your faith to the word that has been released. So many words have been released here. God has said so many things, but there is just one thing that clicks to your spirit. There is just one thing that you feel like you want to accentuate on that. You feel like you want to tie yourself to that. When you plant a seed, it's a way. It's one of the ways you connect yourself to that. And I pray for everyone that has reached out in faith, connecting to prophetic words. May God honor your giving. May the Lord honor your offerings in Jesus' mighty name. May he answer your prayers speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our That is our daily declaration. God says as often as we make that declaration, it's going to become our reality. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes. God sees your heart. God sees your heart. When you do not have to sow, God sees your heart. Like I said, planting a financial seed is just one of the ways you connect. By you typing amen, by you liking the video, by you being interactive, you are putting yourself into the spirit of the service. You are getting yourself connected to what God is doing. And God will definitely honor your faith, honor your consistence, honor your connection. Hallelujah. God bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. I bless your life. I bless your going out and your coming in. You are preserved in the name of Jesus. You are protected in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. No weapon that is formed against you will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, I condemn it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love you, family. I love you so much. I'm going to see you in our next live session as God gives me grace. Until then, have an amazing day. Have an amazing evening. Please, as you go, give the video a thumbs up. As you go, touch the like button. Please, as you go, touch the like button. As you go, touch the like button. Share the live broadcast if you have not done that already. Share the live broadcast if you have not done that already. Please touch the like button. God bless you. It was a nice time here with you. It was an awesome time here with you. 
and I hope to see you again subsequently. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen.